at News Magazine YouTube channel, mostly we post these topics. 1. Shocking News 2. Entertainment 3. How To 4. Popular Stories So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Toddler turns blue and throws up blood, dies for one scary reason. Every parent's biggest fear is something bad happening to their child. Whether IT's getting hurt, or even more terrifying. Guild. Unfortunately, this is exactly what parents from Oklahoma had to deal with. WHO had their young child rushed to the hospital and then ended up dying shortly thereafter. Their child turned blue unexpectedly and started coughing up and then throwing up blood. When the doctors studied the results of the x ray, they found out the reason of the toddler's death was all too common. IT started innocently enough. Two-year-old Brianna Florer came down with a mild fever. Her parents, Brian and Stephanie Florer, didn't think it was anything unusual until their daughter started to turn blue and then vomited up blood. Immediately, they frantically dialed 911, and their daughter was rushed to Grove Hospital. Upon inspection of the X-ray results, doctors realized that the young girl had swallowed a button battery that was smaller than a dime. Their daughter was then rushed to another hospital to have surgery done to remove the battery lodged inside her. They operated on her for two hours, but they couldn't stop the bleeding, explained Brianna's grandfather. Kent Weiss, according to Daily Mail. They believe the battery ate through to her carotid artery by way of her esophagus. He continued, one minute she is perfect, and the next minute she is dead. We had no idea when she swallowed IT. The worst thing about this story is that IT happens all too frequently. These batteries are very common and found in many toys and gadgets, and items used around the house and in daily situations. Such as TV remotes, remote-controlled cars slash toys, and even musical birthday slash greeting cards. Preschool age children are most at risk because these batteries are shiny and the same size as a smarty. Children will think IT's a sweet, pop IT in their mouth and swallow IT, says a Dr. Kate Parkins, a pediatrician and consultant at Manchester University Hospitals Trust. Awareness must be increased about this topic, to avoid future fatalities. They are starting a campaign at the Department of Health, but the best way to increase awareness is by keeping this topic current amongst family and friends. An electric current from the battery combines with saliva to produce sodium hydroxide, or caustic soda. This can burn through the esophagus and surrounding blood vessels, causing potentially fatal damage that can happen within a couple of hours or sometimes less. The child can bleed to death, explains Dr. Parkins. Doctors believe that Brianna had ingested the small button battery days before she died. However they are waiting the results of the autopsy before officially declaring her cause of death. Her grandfather Vice has been speaking out about his granddaughter's death, and wants IT to serve as an eye-opener for parents everywhere and bring about change. I want to keep these things out of houses, he confessed. They are dangerous. According to Daily Mail, Apparently there have been over 11,000 cases over a nine-year period regarding the consumption of these tiny batteries. Here is a mother, Gemma Aspey Jody Graffs, 37, and her 20-month-old WHO swallowed a lithium battery in May 2014. She was hospitalized and now has a 11-cm scar in her esophagus as a result. She did survive and is now able to eat solid foods, but she had to go through very intense operations to cure the damage that was done due to the internal burns, and sadly the damage done is something she may have to deal with for life. Amar, on the right, and Fatima Nurwili's 13-month-old Zim Nurwili who is in the framed photo, sadly died in August 2012. It was from internal bleeding after a battery in his stomach ended up corroding an artery wall. Toddlers getting into things they are not supposed to is very common and parents do everything they believe they can do as far as child-proofing the house. But they are sadly unaware that leaving a TV remote lying around or having an audio greeting card set up on a table, can be the most deadly thing for a child to have access to. With all the new electronics out there including our cell phones which we constantly leave behind or fall out of our pockets, 
the danger becomes very high for toddlers to gain access to these these things that they will play with and may potentially ingest the batteries within. Here's what Fatima has to say about losing her son and her message to parents everywhere. When I lost my son I lost a part of myself. I don't want his death to be in vain. I want all parents to be aware of the dangers batteries can cause. Thanks for watching. So let's get started. And subscribe. This channel, newsmagazine.com.